Hey, it's you bro. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to be discussing the two-string method in Java, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Welcome back, guys and gals. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys all about the two-string method. This is a special method that all objects inherit. It returns a string that textually represents an object. So let me give you an example. I have another class called car and a few variables related to cars such as a make, a model, a color, and a year. And I took the liberty of assigning these values already. So it's a Ford Mustang that's red and the year is 2021. Now we have four variables here, right? What if we wanted to display all of these values? So first we need to create an instance of this class we're going to create a car object. We can do that by stating car, let's call this car, equals new car. All right, and in order to display all of these values within our car class, we would need a bunch of print line statements. Luckily, I just copied and pasted what I had before. So within a print line, we would print the car's make, the car's model, the car's color, and the car's year. So if we were to run this, this will display all of the values the textual representation of this object. Now, what if we displayed with a print line statement car instead of one of the attributes? So within a print line statement, I'm going to instead just type in car. And what the heck is this? All right, so let me explain. This is the address of this car object in memory. It's like the street address, like 123 fake street. So this is the address where you can find this car object in your computer's memory. So normally we're using the two string method and all objects will actually inherit a two string method. So if we were to type in the name of our car dot, we actually have access to a two string method. And by default, we actually call the two string method behind the scenes implicitly when we use a print or print line statement. So if I were to type car dot to string, it's going to do the exact same thing, which we have here. So it's going to return the address of where this car object is in memory. But what many people do is that they will override and change the to string method to instead print a textual representation of this object. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now within our car class, we're going to be overriding the two string method. Method overriding is a different video, so if you'd like to learn more about it, feel free to check out that video. So let's override the two string method and have it do something else. So this is a public method. It's going to be returning a string. So instead of saying void, we're going to be returning a string. And the name of this method is the two string method. Make sure you would spell it exactly like this. Now it's asking for us to add a return type. So we're going to return a string back to the two string method when we call it. So let's make up a string. Let's call it my string. It really doesn't matter what you call it for the most part. And let's declare what my string is. My string equals. Now we can actually return all of these values in string representation. So my string is going to equal let's say make and we can format this however we want make plus maybe a new line plus model maybe let's add another new line the color plus a new line and the year and that should be it all right, another way in which you can write this that only has one line of code, instead of declaring the string, my string, we take all of this, copy it, delete the first line, and return everything like that. So that's another way of writing what we had before, done in only one line of code. So this is going to return a string representation of all of these attributes of our car. It's going to return the make, the model, the color, and the year. So now, if we were to run this, we're going to be using our car's two string method. And instead of getting an address of this car, we're going to get a textual representation of this object. 
all of the attributes that this car has, the make, the model, the color, and the year. So this is an explicit use of the toString method. And not only can we use the toString method explicitly, but we can use it implicitly. So let's write another print line statement, but this time we're going to only print the name of our car. And the result is no different. It's exactly the same. So we're implicitly using the toString method of our car when we use a print or print line statement. So you can use either one. You can either call this toString method explicitly or implicitly. But the point being is that you can override the toString method to return a string representation of all of the attributes of an object. So that's how the toString method works in Java. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's how the toString method works in Java. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.